Hey guys! So, one of the coolest fan downloads for Football Madden 13 is the real names fix. Amongst other things, it gives some licensed clubs and competitions their proper names, and also makes the German national team work properly, so it won't just use or its ends anymore. Now, I'm in no way affiliated with Mons or Sorted Out SI, but the instructions on making this fix work seem to be kinda confusing. So I decided to make a little video tutorial to clear things up. First up, you'll need to download the file. Save it somewhere on your hard drive, and once the download is complete, open the destination folder and unzip the file. You should have unzipped a folder containing 4 more folders, all of which we're gonna need to apply the update properly. Keep this window open. Now we'll need to go to the folder Steam has created for Football Manager 13 and mess with one of its data folders. The address we'll be going should look something like this but it could be a bit different if you haven't installed Steam in the default location, or if you have a 32-bit machine, or a Mac, or whatever. Do not panic, just adjust accordingly. If you are lost, you could also search for data slash db slash 1300, and bam, you're there. But anyway, to do it traditionally, open a new window and get into your 32-bit program files folder, then enter your Steam folder, then Steam Apps, because Football Manager is an application, and Common, because it's a common application. Then enter the Football Manager 2013 folder, then the data one, then DB, then 1300. Great! So you should be somewhere around here, and you should be seeing three more folders DBC, EDT, and LNC. Delete all three. Back to your unzipped folder, you should notice three of the subfolders have the exact same names. Select them and copy them. Go back to your 1300 folder and paste them. Beautifully done, the hard part is over. You may close the 1300 folder. There is only one folder in the download we haven't used yet, the folder named Editor Data Files. Get inside and notice it has a few Editor Data Files. Hmm. Now we must go to where Football Manager 13 saves your files. You may change the location in the Preferences menu inside Football Manager, but the default should be in your Documents folder and look something like this. To make sure these folders exist, you need to start up Football Manager 13 at least once. So we open our Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2013. This is where our save games are located and where we should put extra files, like logos, shirts, skins, whatever. The folder names are mostly cosmetic, but it helps to keep things organized. So, since we'll be adding a few editor data files, we should be putting them into a folder named Editor Data. If such a folder doesn't exist, we should create it. So, we enter our Editor Data folder, go back to our unzipped folder, Copy all of those files, go back into our Editor Data folder, and paste everything in there. And that's it! We're done! Keep in mind that some changes only apply when you start a new game, and that each time Football Manager 13 auto updates through Steam, you should probably do this whole thing all over again, since the update restores the default Steam folders. But hey, it's quick and easy when you've done it before! Anyways, that concludes our tutorial. Have fun with it, and remember, Wellington M is a friggin' steal!